Hello pilots, welcome back. Some air to ground secrets from yours truly, Plasma 1945. Now, I will be using unguided rockets in this video to assist my ground forces. I am going to be Agent Orange. There's going to be a link in the top corner which will pop up to a video about all kinds of unguided rockets for the flankers and the MiG-29s in DCS World. You can check that out, but in the meantime, on my left pylon, I've loaded up 40 orange marking rockets. On my right pylon, to keep myself balanced, I'm going to load up 40 heat fragmentation rockets that actually do damage. Here's how the rockets look when they're attached. I've got 40 rockets on one side. Those are the orange marking ones and regular gray ones are on the other side. And we have a custom livery that you're seeing here. The black flank are made by Striker from Red Star. And Red Star Squadron uses Fox 3 managed solution servers for all of our practices and custom missions. And we've got a sandbox mission running on one of our servers from Fox 3 managed solutions. Check them out for getting a server for yourself. Let's get back to the mission and the helicopters of who I'm going to help out. And this is a mainly PVE server. Although there are some enemy aircraft that will fly in, I'm actually supporting the K-50 here flown by Flanker while I'm flying in, in a flanker. He's flankers flying in a K-50. Right. I do a nice pass here, pop some flares in his face and continue on to the target zone. Now the target zone has a number of enemy vehicles which are hidden near a forest. However, spotting individual small vehicles from a helicopter can be challenging, but I've got time on station in case there are enemy aircraft come in. But in the meantime, I can orbit and if I spot a target like I just did on the ground, I can fire my marking rockets to identify its position. So when Flanker comes in in his helicopter, he'll know exactly where the enemy is. So here comes a salvo of three or four rockets. The marking rockets will head towards the ground. They'll do very minimal damage if you get a direct hit, but will visibly mark the position of the enemy unit. As I pull away, look behind me and there is the approximate path of the unit. And that unit is an Abrams tank in camo. As I pull away, you can see the three orange smokes on my right side and Flanker can see them very well from his K-50 without having to get too close to that Abrams. Now, there is another APC that I spot during my orbits, so I will be turning in on that APC in a very short time. Meanwhile, as I'm orbiting above any AAA, I'm looking down and just watching the target zone. There's the area where that APC was, and there's a hit. Flanker takes out the Abrams. So Flanker has reported he has taken out the Abrams tank, which you can see right there going up, and I roll in onto the APC. Again, top-down attack, fire a couple of smokes, and then pull back and roll away. There's the explosion from the smoke. They landed close enough. And there's the striker and the smoke right next to it. So all that flanker has to do now is turn around, find the new puff of smoke, and look somewhere near it to spot the target. Very easy setup, especially for the powerful optics of the K-50. And if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't, hit the bell to get notified about new videos, leave a comment, that always helps with the algorithm. And you can be helpful in a flanker for your air to ground forces, like right there. Boom. That striker gets blown up. And as I roll out, there's the smoke. And I've actually already marked additional two targets while flanker was taking his shot. Now, the SU-27 lacks a lot of the precision weapons that are available on F-16s, F-15s and F-18s, but you can still be useful. So here's that previous orbit. So while flanker is targeting that APC, I spot an additional unit in the intersection between the uh, fields and the trees. I'm still looking around as I'm in my turn, fairly high up. The only thing you have to do is make sure that your guys in helicopters are calling out any SAM launches, but by this point, all the man pads did get taken out. Now there's a set of units there. I'm going to come in and mark them and pull away again. Or flanker and flanker. And Flanker has taken out the tank 
in the meantime and the APC. So there's additional two markers there. Now, of course, things can go wrong. And if you balance yourself out with regular rockets, not the TSM rockets, which are the marking rockets, but the heat fragmentation rockets, you can also do your own cleanup. So once you've spotted that target and you left that marker for yourself, well, you can come in just like this with the S8 rockets. And I'm going to take out that striker right there by just unleashing all my rockets on him. And he gets whacked. I pull away. And hopefully you've enjoyed this video, everybody. Plasma1945 will see you in the air. And now you can be a supporting flanker to your friends in helicopters.